Don't kid yourself. They saw the videos. Girls, mothers, some who married into ISIS, who knew what they were about, but still came. Now, jailed in a refugee camp, stuck in limbo as ISIS collapses, trying to go home. They want your pity, and that you believe them when they say it was all, all of it, a huge mistake. They use women for sex? Yeah, it's, it's very disgusting. Three Indonesian sisters say they paid thousands of dollars to get here, lured by the false promise of free healthcare and schools, but ended up living off selling their jewellery and paying thousands to get smuggled out. It just wasn't as pure a caliphate as they expected. They said they want to visabilillah, they, they want to jihad for, for the sake of Allah, but what what they think, what, what they want, it's only about women and sex. Uh, oh, it's... It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's I, make us want I heard that uh, if they marry a widow, they will get thousands of dollars. Single women arrivals like them kept in a commune while they look for husbands. The manner of the woman inside the dorm is very different. It's very far from Islam. Harsh men are gossiping, shout each other, backbiting uh, and fighting uh, between the woman and Oh, I was very surprised when I see that. Saida explains the dorm is a bit like Tinder. When the woman arrives in this dormitory, she makes a sort of CV, puts down her age, her name, how her personality is like, what she looks for in a man. And men also post their CVs. Yes, it's dating. So you meet, you talk for 15, 20 minutes, and then it's a yes or no. If they both agree, then they get married. It's very quick. She says she came for charity work, but her husband was killed the second time they tried to flee. She's as appalled by the Paris terror attacks as she was by the coalition bombing of Raqqa and just wants to go back to France. I love life. I love to work. I love my jeans. I love my makeup. I love my parents. The only thing I want is to go back. I'm not far from the beach. I used to go to the beach every weekend, in a bikini. Yes, in a bikini. May is a Syrian English teacher whose first husband was killed by a sniper in Homs and says she was travelling to Turkey when she was waylaid in Raqqa, where she met and married a Moroccan, Bilal. Were you looking for a man when you went to Raqqa? No. So how come you found one just like you moved into a house and, oh my God, who's this guy next door? I think God sent him to me. She says ISIS spokesman Abu Mohammed Adnani knew Bilal and allowed him not to fight. He's now in jail. She is disapproving of less pure love stories. Did you hear other stories of women here who came looking for husbands? They look to the European men that they, they, they are here and, and ISIS, they are strong men, you know, with guns and they can protect them. It's, it's an idea that, just like movies, many of them were was very shocked because they, when they got married from a man, you know, three, four days, one month and they divorced. I know a woman, she was married six times and after three days she go to court and ask the judge to divorce her from him. And when uh, the judge asked her why you want divorce, and uh, that man say that uh, she prevent him from making any, you know, uh, sexual, uh, you know. Oh, and, and she say, I, I can't accept him. I, I all the time thinking of my dying husband. And the judge asked her, so why you get married from him if you don't want him? And he said, I will send you to, to the prison and will, you know, slash you. And she was crying, oh no, it's the last time, I promise. Her husband was once arrested for smoking by the religious police and, because they won't talk to women, she had to literally enter a man's world to get him out of jail. And you know what I do? It was a crazy idea. I just put uh, my husband clothes his shoes and his, you know, that wheels, and I c covered my eyes, put that black uh, glasses, and put, I uh, lent um, a gun from my neighbor. I take it from him, uh, and I take my boy, and let's go to the police part. Can you give me your man voice now? Yes, yes, it's a four. That's how men sound, just two. <laughs> These stories decide their fate here, whether they stay in limbo or go home. I think that you don't believe me. <laughs> but, you know, eyes speaks a language more than mouth. Yes. And don't you feel that there's a truth in my eyes? Yes. Your husband, what if you never see him again? I want someone to kill me. 
because I can't kill myself. It's a suicide and I can't, I can't commit suicide. Just kill me. Nick Payton-Walsh, CNN, Ayn Alyssa, Northern Syria.